joined by Howard uh, head coach Kenneth Blakeney. To my immediate right, forward Steve Settle. And Shia Odom at this time, coach, we have an opening statement on your thoughts on the game. Thank you. First, I'd like to give all the glory and praise to God, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Um, I'm just so incredibly proud of our guys. And what I told them after the game was that, you know, besides having a historic season, being a part of a group that is only the third team in the history of Howard University's men's basketball to go to the NCAA tournament. I just love how they have grown as people and have become better men over this course of the season. Um, that's a victory that no one can take away from us. And I'm thrilled that we were able to represent Howard University in a classy way uh, that honored so many people before us, the legacy of Howard, and so many people that's going to walk those steps afterwards. So thank you. This time we'll take questions for the head coach as well as our student athletes. Okay, front row here. Uh, yeah, uh, at, at Adam Kilgore with the Washington Post. Uh, hoping to ask us both uh, Shy and Steve. Um, I, I understand that uh, Vice President Harris came in and spoke to you guys uh, after the game. What was that experience like, and, and what did she tell you guys? Start with Shy first. Um, the experience was amazing. Um, it's uh, it's amazing to know we have uh, people of such power uh, that are you know affiliated with us and supporting us at the same time. Um, she just told us that you know even though. We didn't come up with the, uh, the victory, uh, that we're still winners. And uh, what we've done this year is history. Um, and to just keep our heads up. Steve? Yeah, um, just to have someone like that uh, with such stature in our corner and behind us, supporting us, um, it means the world. And she just told us how proud she was of us and the whole Howard community, uh, how proud we make them and how much we talked about. Um, and just told us to keep our heads up and keep pushing. Coach, would you like to add anything to that? Okay. Any other questions? We're gonna, we have a Zoom call in the back. We have a question from Chris Heidel. Chris, when you're ready. Christopher, are you there? Got, right go ahead, please. Yeah, I got you guys. I got you. Hey, this is Chris Heidel from Herbert from Radio. Sorry for the loss. Of the um, what does it mean for you guys playing on this big stage, you know, being on you know, national TV, and what does it mean for the brand for Howard? Is that directed to anybody in particular? Coach, you want to answer that? Well, we've had a lot of games on national TV, um, but certainly being in, the, being in the NCAA tournament, there's more eyes and visibility on you, which is amazing because we have a chance to talk about our university as one of the greatest universities on the face of this planet. Um, we're the 83rd university ranked in the country, and we have a legacy of leaders uh, from every different sector of the world in terms of occupations and jobs. Um, so it's pretty cool to have this opportunity and moment and uh, to highlight our university and to share with the world how great of a place Howard University is. Go ahead, question. Uh, uh, this is for uh, Kenny. Um, I'm, I'm sure you guys came into this game expecting, believing you could compete and win. When you're up you know, five minutes left in the first half or so, does that belief sort of go up a little bit? Could you, could you sense your guys really start to believe that could, could happen at that point? Well, I think, you know, understanding that we've had leads and uh, I had the lead at that point in time, there's still more game to go. Um, so it's like we can't get too high and we can't get too low. We have to kind of stay even killed. I mean, you know, as of a couple, maybe a week ago or so, Kansas was the number one team in the country. And, uh, you know, they do a great job with their coach, you know, Hall of Famer Bill Self, and I know Norm, uh, Coach Roberts took over today for, for Coach Self. Hope he has a speedy recovery because um, we really need him back on the sidelines. But for those guys to, um, I think for our guys to compete in the way that they did, I'm very proud and honored to have a chance to say I'm their leader or their coach, their mentor or their teacher. So um, they took us on an incredible ride, and it's been a lot of fun. 
Question in the back row. Dave Campbell, uh, Associated Press. Steve and Shy, I guess, what, what allowed, in your mind, Kansas to be able to pull away a little bit late first half and what uh, sort of what makes them so good? Now you get that first-hand look. Start with Steve first. I think when you play a team like uh, Kansas, they capitalize off all of our mistakes. Um, we left a lot of meat on the bone in the first half. Uh, free throws, uh, gave up a lot of second chance points, and a team like that, you, you have to, you can't get that up. Um, so I feel like we did a good job at first, um, but they they were able to spread the, the gap. Uh, yeah, just like Steve said, uh, in both halves, uh, giving up a lot of points in transition um, and second chance opportunities. Kind of, we kind of dug ourselves in a hole. Um, that's pretty much it. On the aisle there. Uh, for for Steve, um, what are you going to take with you from the season the most? Do you think like what's what's going to stay with you the most? Well, I think I think for me, I've had to learn how to impact the game in other ways other than scoring. Um, I think that's been the most valuable thing for me. Um, I feel like coming into this season, uh, I just thought of myself as a scorer, but Coach KB and my whole team challenged me to become something more than that, and that has only made me so much better. Um, Coach B has pushed me in practice and in the season. Um, it, just to make me more well-rounded, and that's just going to make me reach my potential even more. Stay on the left side on the aisle. Go ahead. Uh, this is for Coach uh, Greg Eklund for Kansas Public Radio. Coach, I mean, nobody plays a perfect game, but Steve referred to the mistakes. Did you feel that you had to play almost a near minimum of mistakes to have a chance to win this game? Well, I, I thought that they did – a few things really well. Um, one is they did an excellent job in transition and was able to get opportunities that were highly efficient opportunities. Um, they did a great job, I think, on their pick and roll stuff um, with Harris and Adams running around look like almost like uh, stocking them alone a little bit. Um, they were really efficient in that. And, uh, you know, they did a great job of second chance points. So points in the paint with all of those three layers added up really made an impact in the game, and it, it was too much for us to overcome today. About four minutes left in this press conference on the aisle. Uh, tough ending today, but it's been a really impressive season for you all, and you've accomplished some of the goals you set out for. What are some of the things you're going to take um, from today and from this journey to kind of come back next season and attack it with that same vigor? Coach? Well, I mean, I think there's a lot of different things that we want to try to unpack from this season. Um, certainly, I think we understood how to, how to win this year. And that is a very difficult task to learn. Um, you know, we have some things that I want to talk to in, each individual about um, when we have time, some goals and some mm -hmm. Some, um, some things that I'd like to see them do over the summer. I, I like to apply tasks to our guys, so some tasks that they will have over the summer and uh, see if we can kind of, after that, can we connect to see if we can grow and connect to kind of ignite this thing all over again. One final question. If not, thank you very much, Coach. Congratulations, athletes, on a tremendous season. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Appreciate you.